Hi Aries, this is your Twin Flame reading with me for February 2021. I hope you're doing well. Alright, so this is going to be the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for Aries and we will see what is coming through and what information I can give to you as well. So we will definitely have a look. Um, also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. So uh, yeah, check all of that out and also my Etsy store is on Etsy. Um, I also have um, the private reading information in the description box below as well. And then going back to my Etsy store, I, um, there's, you know, beautiful items like charms and letters, divination coins, pendulums, beaded bracelets, necklaces, crystals, all sorts. Um, and of course, a lot of people have seen results of these items because some of them are there to also help manifest your intentions. So check out the review section as well. Um, you know, there's pom-poms, tassels, anklets, necklaces, all sorts. So yeah, check out, check out, what? Well, check it out. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So Aries, we're gonna look at your side, their side and the outcome. Let's get it started right here. Okay. I don't know why that, that song was just vibing with me. So I'm an upright reader, as many of you know. So I just I just want you to know that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Wands with the, the Two of Cups on your side. Okay. Nine of Pentacles with with Justice. Okay. Justice. All right. So, you know, the Ten of Wands is a card that really represents, I think, on your side, frustration, burden. Like, it's not that you feel like your twin flame is a burden, but you just feel like there's this heavy energy on you. Um, and that's the vibe that I'm really getting here. Um, and, and that's really what I am seeing. So that is for sure, especially with the Two of Cups as well, is that you want things to progress, right? You want things to be harmonious and equal and progressive. And you just feel like it's, it's hitting a brick wall every single time. And it's like, it hurts you. You know, it hurts your soul. It just like fragments it. Oh, it's one of those things, right? Because you've got that wand energy, it's fire energy, you just feel like, oh my god, like this is this is heavy, this is a lot. Then you've got the nine of pentacles, right, which is all about that um, independence, like you want to come across as like strong and uh, really fulfilled and independent and just like you've got things together and it just feels like a lot of friction and it just feels like everything is challenging, everything is like difficult, um, but you, you still want to like keep showing that you know, that you are still, you're still there. So some of you might be posting on social media, that, you know, some nice pictures of yourself um, and just showing that you're, you're doing okay, you're doing well or, or showing, you know, that you're living a good life or even, you know, on, on Facebook, any kind of, you know, uh, social media, I, I really feel, um, and for those of you that are not on social media, you may be, you know, telling people like, oh yeah, I'm all well and I'm all good and, you know, I'm focusing on this, I'm focusing on that and, and just kind of like um, trying to show that on the exterior, you're very like tough, which to be honest, you are a very strong person, but you're definitely dealing with a lot, right? And that just really hit me. Like when I saw these cards, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Aries, you've got this, okay? You are an Aries. <laughs> Whether you're a sun, moon, rising or Venus sign, you are an Aries, okay? You've got this you got this um and then of course justice is like that libra energy right which is also ruled by venus so when we have justice this is about you wanting to resolve things you feel like okay well things are not right let me resolve things you are a problem solver right you, you're a fixer you want things to be fixed you want to make things okay but there's just this like weight on you and you want things to come together but you're just not sure how much more you can do all right so that's really what i'm seeing here now on your side now on their side you've got the devil okay all right capricorn energy Oops, sorry, that was really loud. Then you've got here the Knight of Wands. On their side, they do think about you, okay? You're not like out of sight, out of mind. Just want to say that, but they do want control, okay? So the Four of Pentacles here shows that they're clearly holding on to something. They're clearly doing things the way that they want to do things. They're clearly doing things for their own personal 
like gain and, and benefit sometimes. So the devil here shows that they like to do things on their own timeline. They like to be in control of things. Doesn't necessarily make them the, the worst person in the world or a terrible person, but some people need control. And if they feel like they're lacking control, they just cannot handle anything, right? They just feel like, oh my God, I can't do this. It's too much. It's too intense. I, I, I can't, you know? And so they have to let things be at their own timing. They can be seen as quite stubborn. You know, they can be seen as controlling um, because they just need things to be that own that way. So if they have caused you pain in any way or like gone in the opposite direction to what you thought they were going to go in, that is because they need to be in control. And if they feel like they're out of control or that you have more power suddenly, they definitely don't like that because you know, that's what happens with twin flames too, is that they get overwhelmed when things are imbalanced, let's say. But you are definitely on their mind here. You're very attractive to them. It's just that they're holding on to themselves right now. And they're holding on to their power because I feel like this person feels like they're losing their power, but it's not true. You're just empowering them. Does that make sense? But they, they feel like it's too much. Um, so you've got the page of cups here as well. Okay, again, it's not that they feel bad towards you, it's just that this person is a little bit more immature, I feel, than you are, um, and so, you know, it's, it's one of those things, that's not, again, to say that they're, like, a terrible person, but immaturity is just when someone is more immature than you are, you know, you're much more mature, okay, let's, let's be very honest, um, but the Page of Cups here definitely does go to show as well that, um, you know, that, that, they're, they're like a page. They, they're not exactly a king or a queen, let's say, where they have that sort of um, mentality um, that, that you do um, in that sense. Like, again, they're not a bad person. It's just that they, like, you know, when you think of a page versus a king, there are some big differences, right, in regards to how they handle situations, in regards to what they would say, in regards to how they handle difficult topics, right? They handle things very, very differently. They So your twin flame handles things a bit more like a page right now, can be a bit dismissive, can be sort of just doing their own thing in their own world, like a child, you know, plays with something, gets bored, then just kind of moves on to something else. Um, not that they're moving on to someone else, let's say, but they just kind of like to distract themselves with things and not think too deeply on certain topics. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. They're in a bit of like this avoiding phase for some reason, but this, you're still on their mind, okay? So we've got the Three of Cups here. Now, for some of you, there may be a third party situation in, in the scenario. However, Three of Cups is also a card of connectivity and social social media. So they could be spying on your social media, all right, which is something I do see here. See, the Two of Swords, very defensive energy, indecisive energy, unclear, right? The clouds are looming, the fog is there, the, the river is muddy, It's you can't see through it, it's very, very low visibility, and that's really where they're at, they're very defensive right now, they're very all over the place, I feel like this will clear a little bit more as the months go by, because, right, right now you've got Mercury retrograde happening in the sign of Aquarius, this is air energy, when you have that also with knowing that Aquarius is lined up with like six planets right now, six planets are in Aquarius, I mean, that's that's intense. Let's be very honest. This has not happened for 60 years. It's very intense astrologically. It's a lot, okay, as I'm waving around this card, which is the Fool. Okay, the Fool is very much so about just knowing, okay, that the sun is... Huh, is, the sun in, is the sun in Aquarius right now? Hold on a second. I feel like I'm having... You know, sometimes we just have those moments where we go a little bit blank, and uh, it happens, it happens. So let me just see. Do, 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 why, 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 why are you not coming up on here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is, well, for a couple of days, to be honest, and then, of course, the sign changes. Um, so, yes, the sun is in Aquarius right now. Okay, so, again, there's just that, like, very, like, like how, how do I describe it? Very um, all over the place energy coming through. Okay, so the fool here shows that when the sun leaves Aquarius, things get a little bit lighter. Okay, so that's the fool energy. And again, immaturity as well, because it's Uranus, Uranus energy too. So um, what I do feel here is that for the outcome, there's definitely like things getting lighter towards the end of the month, okay, between the two of you, there you go, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, but they're definitely quite slow, okay, and there's a very like strong Earth energy coming through, and also very strong like Capricorn kind of vibe coming through here, so let me know if that sign resonates with you in any way, shape or form, um, but for sure, this is, this is what I'm seeing here, right, so in the outcome, 
it's like they want to connect but they're also distracting themselves with lots of different things and they could be a little bit defensive and avoiding um, because again of this Aquarius energy and the fool here shows again that they're just kind of like distracting themselves doing whatever they want kind of like just in their own world in their own bubble they like to be in control but they're also very playful bit immature at times as well it's just one of those things and this is the kind of vibe that they're in it's a vibe that they're vibing in right so that's what I'm really seeing here also with the knight of pentacles they're really in their own bubble so this is your reading if this resonated with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below as well and take care everyone take care take care bye